The decision was made in Canada after European research pointed specifically to 18 cases of an extremely rare type of blood clot. Most of them occurred within 14 days of receiving the AstraZeneca shot. The initial clinical trial with tens of thousands will not pick up rare events. The odds are listed at 1 in 125,000. The data that came out of Germany that morning was this was predominantly happening in women. It was happening in women under the age of 50. Despite a theory that there's a greater risk of getting a blood clot from a birth control pill, Dr. Zane Chagla says these aren't typical blood clots that are being reported. They are more severe. Four out of nine of the initial cases described in Germany were young people that succumbed to their illness. When it comes to seniors, Dr. Chagla tells us the world results for AstraZeneca have been promising. The United Kingdom has been so good at using this vaccine all along and not seeing this problem or seeing it exceptionally rarely uh, because they've been predominantly putting it in older populations. The infectious diseases physician adds that there's better data now. In Scotland, the AstraZeneca vaccine reduced hospitalizations by 94%. The data shows even that what that one shot, you have 70 to up to 75% protection against symptomatic COVID-19. When Canada's top doctor was asked about the real possibility of vaccine hesitancy. The Canadians should be reassured that we have systems in place to detect safety signals and then analyze them. Still, there is a worry among some people over the age of 60 who have already received the shot. I did speak to the doctor and, and to a specialist in Toronto and they said, you know what, if you could get your hands on any vaccine right now, take it. 61-year-old Pam Secula of Hamilton has been trying to figure out her next steps after the news was announced yesterday. There's talk maybe you can still get the second dose, they don't know yet. But with more data expected in the coming weeks, there could be further pivoting. The European Union is going to meet in the next couple of weeks and put everything together and give us a better profile of what patients can get second doses, what patients are at risk and that type of thing. And Dr. Tagla believes those 55 and older will still be allowed to get a second shot, but it does remain a question at this time. There's a big clinical trial in Europe right now around mixing vaccines and potentially that may, may be the next step. Canada has already administered around 300,000 doses of the drug with no reports of adverse side effects here. And knowing the risks and benefits of the AstraZeneca vaccine, Dr. Chagla tells us he would still recommend this shot to his parents who are both in their 60s when this vaccine becomes available to them.